The BMW Group believes in the power of choice. Nobody can already provide solid answers to the following questions for the different regions of the world. How soon will e-mobility take off and where? Which type of powertrain system will establish itself and where? We expect different powertrains to continue to coexist for a long time to come. We consider things from a business standpoint, make decisions for the long term and put the customer at the center of everything we do. Every customer and every market has different needs and different conditions. Only an openness to various technologies can create the necessary flexibility we need as we focus on sustainable mobility across the globe. This is something we continue to support. For around 20 years now, we have been resetting the company's course with sustainable mobility as our guideline. Given the rapid upscaling of electric mobility already in progress at BMW, hydrogen fuel cell technology could quite feasibly become the fourth pillar of our powertrain portfolio in the long term. We see hydrogen electric drive as holding long-term potential for our larger models, which is why we are continuing to work together with Toyota on the development of the technology. Our collaboration on hydrogen technology is highly effective and very well balanced. Toyota has tremendous expertise with hydrogen fuel cells and we have decades of experience with hydrogen powertrains. Our first research vehicle powered with hydrogen was introduced in 1979 the BMW 520H. We developed our first own fuel cell in 1997. We started testing our first fuel cell electric vehicle in 2013. Both of us, Toyota and BMW, are benefiting from the sharing of our experiences and we will continue with this successful partnership. Currently, the right conditions are not yet in place to offer BMW customers a fuel cell production model. This is regarding the hydrogen refueling infrastructure and the energy system as a whole, which needs to produce green hydrogen in relevant quantities and at affordable cost to be used for individual mobility. Short term, we can bring green energy onto the roads faster with battery electric vehicles. Pilot it, master it, scale it up. This is what we have done successfully with electric mobility. Which is why we are now in a position to rapidly roll out e-mobility on a large scale at the BMW Group. By 2023, we will have launched 25 electrified models. Further down the line, we will be able to take the same approach with hydrogen technology. The next step will be to pilot the second generation of our fuel cell powertrain in a small series of the BMW i Hydrogen Next, starting in 2022. Its fuel cell system will generate up to 125 kilowatt of electric power. Together with a peak power battery, the BMW i Hydrogen Next will have a total system output of 275 kilowatts. So here's our promise. When we do offer our customers a hydrogen powered BMW, it will generate the accelerating driving pleasure for which BMWs are renowned. The upper-end models in our extremely popular X family would make particularly suitable candidates here. A fuel cell vehicle is a zero-emission electric vehicle like our battery electric vehicles. The main difference is the energy storage. The advantage is a refueling time of just three to four minutes. The disadvantage is that you first have to produce the hydrogen preferably from a renewable energy source, of course, 
and then generate the electric power within the fuel cell system. This, of course, is less efficient than using the electricity directly if you can. Therefore, fuel cell vehicles are best suited for customers who often travel long distances, who have a high demand of flexibility, or simply don't have regular access to electric charging infrastructure. Aktuell stimmt die Rahmenbedingungen noch nicht, um BMW-Kunden ein Serienangebot machen zu können. Unsere Kunden erwarten ein ausreichendes Netz an Wasserstofftankstellen, an denen sie grünen Wasserstoff zu vernünftigen Preisen erwerben können. Dieses Wasserstofftankstellennetz wird gerade in einigen Ländern aufgebaut und sollte in ein paar Jahren verfügbar sein. At the moment, the market conditions aren't right yet for our customers. They expect a sufficient network of hydrogen fueling stations where they can buy green hydrogen at a reasonable price. This network at the moment is being built up in some countries and should be available in a few years. Im nächsten Schritt pilotieren wir ab 2022 in einer kleinen Flotte des BMW e Hydrogen Next die zweite Generation unseres Brennstoffzellenantriebs. Ein Serienangebot für unsere Kunden werden wir abhängig von den Rahmenbedingungen frühestens in der zweiten Hälfte dieses Jahrzehnts machen. Eines steht für uns fest, wenn wir unseren Kunden einen Wasserstoff BMW anbieten, dann wird er mit BMW typischen und begeisternden Fahrspaß überzeugen. Hier bietet sich insbesondere das obere Ende unserer X-Familie an. You can be assured, when we start offering fuel cell vehicles to our customers, they will provide the sheer driving pleasure you can rightfully expect from any BMW. The upper segment of our popular X-Family is especially well suited for a hydrogen powertrain. Let's start in the front. Here in the engine bay, we have the high power fuel cell system. It can generate up to 125 kilowatts of electric power using hydrogen and oxygen from the ambient air. The vehicle emits water vapor, that's all. In the middle, we have two hydrogen tanks. They contain six kilograms of hydrogen and can be refueled in three to four minutes. In the rear, we have our highly integrated fifth generation electric drive unit that we also use on our battery electric vehicles. It contains a high power electric motor, the power electronics and the transmission. Above it, we have a boost battery for additional dynamics. In total, we have 275 kilowatts of electric power enabling the typical BMW driving dynamics. 